much. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw hey guys, beauty to it right that team. modern painters often fail Wars to Marvel. recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. Yes, you're very no. boring. It's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not Fine. What would you like? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we be? Of course it cuts out. Yeah, how are you guys doing? I wanted to see how you guys are enjoying this series. She's awake, Doctor. We're just doing it as like a Wednesday thing, so it's not part of the regular Good evening. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. At last? You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. That's nice. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. That's, you look like Could you confirm doctor. your name for me, please? It's Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no, no permanent damage. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. Well, you, but no being a nuisance is part of my Give stupid job, sauce. unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but... You know I'm going to, anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw, that was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? No, you're not. I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. Probably not. I swear I will. No, no probably not. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18-year-old. Good. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. You wanted to kill Got myself? to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Lucky I couldn't talk. I would have told you some things you don't want to know, toots.
Bad dream. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they yeah. wouldn't let her, of course. Well, obviously. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. No. She was on ten litres of oxygen through oh. the face mask. She had to stay in bed, but she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as... The whole room went up in flames. Yeah. And so did she. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. This lady, man. What was your name again? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? No, you didn't. I always do that. So sorry, Susan. My name is Elizabeth. But you can call me Liz, like everyone else. Alright, you're good. You're here a lot. Every time I open my eyes, I see you. They make auxiliaries do crazy hours here. Seriously. I feel like I've got no life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes, that's all. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... I woke up here, and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me, and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? I don't think I have yes. One. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit, where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward. Because... All of, it's a suicide watch unit. Oh. That's why it's so. You have to be careful. If it's so strict, then how are you hiding here? Nurses trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Probably not. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him. Dr. X. He's a chief wow. of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. He's really good at getting into your head. He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. Did you see this? No, sorry. Apparently she came in the ambulance, but then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um... Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume yeah. so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave. Or she was a burglar. Hmm. Have you got anything very precious? My cats. Maybe. I'm tired. Let me sleep up. now. Fine. Going. I'll see you again. Ow. Ow. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you.
How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. Are they? But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Well, obviously. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. Okay. It's important if we want to get to the bottom I've of your I've done this before problem. in real life. All Count you gotta to do is ten and tell me when you're if you ready, don't need the help, Susan. And if you want the help, tell them everything. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now, and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Yeah, I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Makes sense, makes sense. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? I lost her when I was still a child. Yeah, that works. So you were brought up by a single dad. Damn right. What happened to your mother? She... died giving birth. I never even had a chance to meet her. I often wonder what she was like. Why is life so unfair? It's our one goddamn right to have a mother. But I was robbed of it, just like of everything else. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Needles are stuck at 10.08. Needs new batteries. Dang. stuff they're giving me could not get a horse and give it a headache for a week too. It also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Yeah, basically. Especially cherries. Chrysanthemums. Cherry. Okay. Let's keep going. Taking one glove, just one. <laughs> this is not my room, I'm not lying down.
Ann Burton, currently a patient in side room one. Wait, wait, are you gonna I'll have to leave whenever she wishes. I guarantee you she's gonna tell me something weird. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Well, fuck you too. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, may I ask what your name is? My name is... Mary Smith. Let me through, please. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, ma'am. You should talk to the doctor first and come back with a letter. Okay. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk. If you are looking for something to read, we have some... Thanks. Let's talk to her. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Text me it. Sorry. <clears throat> Please do not touch these. They are all comfort. Yeah. If you are looking. Thanks. Sorry, ma'am. We'll need. Right. It seems that a discharge letter is the only. <laughs> okay. So. A nurse, talk to him. Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. That's not what I wanted to hear. I feel much better now. I'm glad to hear. But I can't discharge you until doc. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, all right? I don't want to wait for him. She looks like she's overdosed. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. No, I, I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless... It's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. 
But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Elizabeth. No, you're wrong. Fine. Leave me alone. Please. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The okay. name that haunts me. But I know it. Alice. No, leave me. If you really. But I know. Joan. No, leave me. Well, that's not it. If you. The name. But I know. Sarah. No. Wow. If you really are a friend. The name. But I know. Mary? No, leave me. <laughs> okay. Not doing if too you well. You really so are far. the name, but I know. Mandy. No, leave me alone. Have I done all the names? If you really are of the name, but I know it. I've done Joan, I've done Mary, I've done Elizabeth. Sarah. No. I don't have a name then. If you really are a friend, the name. But I know. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. You really are of the name, but I know it. Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my. Leave me alone. Hold on. Please do not they are yeah if you will thanks So then how do I figure out her fucking name If you really are a friend the name but I know Alice no leave me Okay fuck you Messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining a high level of cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff, we ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Maybe you can change. 
banker. Okay. Okay. Shall we swap our name? Mother always told me I can't take it. I I'm being good now. Only to. Okay. I'll cut this part out, but I'm just gonna figure out where her name is. She looks like someone I know. It's you. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts- But I know it. Mary- No, leave me- If you really are a friend, then no- But I- Man- No, leave- Maybe you better check mine. I think about that too. How many people, like, when you're in the hospital and you go just sit in a bed, like, how many people have died on that bed? You're on just the mattress. Maybe your name is Chrysanthemum. If you really, but I know. Alan, no, leave. Fuck you. Please do not. Yes, thank. Sorry, Mom, can't let you. We'll need to see. <sighs> right. It... Okay. Okay. Fucking mom's name. Oh my god. If you really are a friend, you will know the name. But I know. What? Joan. No, leave me.
God, I knew it. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? It is when you need to use it. At I see. Just give me a Go to the front, go to the front. Oh, it's the gloves. I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty. Run. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see it here. Yes, that's. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burson? Oh. I. I'll go. Shit. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. And but no, you don't leave me alone. How do I figure out her name? It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know what you're talking Someone just stuck a bunch of well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. Hopefully, but no promises. Alright, let's do this.
if you really are afraid, the name. But I know. My name. Is you don't leave. I'm just gonna enter. No, I'm go back in. Fucking hell. Alright, let's go, man. What? You need to go to bed. Can I make a phone call? Oh, but the phone... Can you please come? Thanks. I'd like to... Well, but there are procedures. I can't just... What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Yeah. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I... I fine, Hulk. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't... In the meantime, I know how... I think it's time we give you some... Can you please tell me your name and your... Are you kidding? I'm not taking it. Oh, you should know we are only- You do want to get- Now, let me have a quick- Miss Ashworth, I strongly sug- I don't want to lose my shit, so- That's a good- You'll feel- Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep.
I think I know the name. The drugs of war, but I can't let them do that to me. If you rip the neck, but I know. Sheila. Yay. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So. Something's wrong. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being... What is this? It's a drug. My favourite one. Favorite red drug. stuff takes the... I must stay here. Good nurses have been... They always remember. They know I'm... But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my... On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. Yeah. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. How about... Oh, yeah. I... But that would be like a favor to you. Well, technically, you wouldn't lose. Does that make it... Sure. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that That's stupid. stupid. I know you'll use it to get... Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I... That's fine. I don't... I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get- Now that is something special. Is it- It's perfectly safe. Um... Okay. What ex- It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so ang- It's like I'm going crazy! <laughs> it's funny, but... I just get so fucking angry sometimes! I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it. But I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Jesus. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. I need the red medicine. I must be a good girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't. Or maybe you... I see it in my dreams. But in my dream, there are... I see it. It's so near. I can still hear the broken... I'll talk to you. Yes, they're watching us. Always. Poor woman. Okay, so... If she's right... Bell, press. Doctor, help me! Help me, doctor! Someone is coming. I hope they are. I just ring a bell. Have you rang the bell? I'm... Are you... You look... No. Fine. But I can't... In the meantime... I think it's... Can you... Are you kidding me? I'm not... Oh, you do... Now. Miss Ashworth, I... Sh That's a good girl. Okay. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Get it drugged up. Now go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep.
not to drive a thing. Ow. Why does my look like I have no eyes? The drugs have worn off, but I can't let them do that to me. Yes, we got it. Let's go give it to this fucking girl. So... About these names... Oh yeah, I don't. We can swap our name bands. But to remember, it's hidden. It's right there. In the world. I'll t yes, they're what always. Poor woman. I've found the thing you are, but are you at? Don't be silly. Fine. Can I have your name band now? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my. What do they? You know what? Thank you for your help. Bye, bitches. Sorry, Mom, can't let you through. We'll need to see a dish here. Yes, can I just? Oh, all right. There you go. Of course. We'll see you soon. No, now. We're out. We're fucking out. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I- Do you mind if I- I was just going for a- Son of a bitch! Give it a rest? I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, there's been a mistake. You have been pres- I apologize sincerely on behalf- On time. Once again, I'm truly sorry. I personally guarantee you will have a good peace. Why can't I go tonight? I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge. It's too late for it now, but I promise. And then you can go home. So Is that all right? So full of shit. I haven't really got. Now I'd like to ask you some. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine, let's get it. I'd like to go home at last. Of course. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the... I live with a friend. A friend? In your suicide note? Okay. I love... You shouldn't be afraid. No. Please. It's for your own good. We need to figure out where things have gone. I'm afraid you'll need a time machine. A human mind is the best time machine you can get, Susan. All we need is for you to relax. Yes, Doc. What do you do for a living? I'm a wait. You do? It's okay. I it's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. That's not bad. I will. Describe to me what you, what is the first I go to the toilet. Fair enough. What oh, I don't know. Don't think there's any routine to it. It d Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... it's not really... I've just felt sad for a long time now. Sad. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more... If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. That's fair. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better?
Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then. Have you ever attended group therapy? Yes. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk. I... I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. Thank you. Do you have problems? Rare. If anything, I... Would you describe for me how you feel at the... Definitely better. Good. Hope with a bit of luck you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempt. Same as near-death experience. It makes... Do you find it hard? No. Do you drink out? Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any out. Does that sound like something? Yeah, sure. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think right. about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No, of it's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought, but I never used to think about it or plan it. it. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet... Please, in your own words, why did you really try? I wanted to show... Who did you want? I'm not even sheeple, I guess. Everyone, myself. I don't really know. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Sometimes I just... I used to think everyone would be happier without me. But I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I... What makes you feel... My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. That's good, that's good, that's good. What makes you feel worse? Loneliness. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually a friend. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral, and how people... Oh, I never really thought about that, but I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it, since there'd be no... I don't think so, Susan. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about... Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? Eric. What had happened between you two? When did this become a thing? I... I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. One day okay, on one more question. This Are you going to do it? That's a hard one, but hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're in There's just one more thing. What exactly happened? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. This is weird. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have... Hurry! Wait for me. Weird. I like it. 
The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. Alex. Let's fucking run. Susan, if we don't escape, please trust me. I know a way out. Let's go down this corridor. I'll I think I can hear someone. Damn it! We can't. Let's turn back, Susan. We're gonna go through the maternity ward, hopefully. Turn left here. What are we doing on the roof? Liz! Oh shit. What the hell are you doing? And why is there bl Liz! It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. This is a bad idea. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live. No one ever listened to me. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A&E? Yeah, she smoked, she smoked a cigarette and... Okay, you have listened. Maybe you're right. But I must jump anyway. I Wait! Please... Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. You have choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me and we'll just forget this like it never happened. Okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you? I bet you don't remember. She's a wait- A waitress? You're full of crap after- I did. I was really tired and drugged up when we talked, so- But it doesn't mean I don't- You don't! My colleagues don't care. My family don't oh, care. I don't Even remember. my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you? On Valentine's Yes. Valentine's Day. You've got this one right. But it's not enough. Don't feel responsible. You didn't cause me this. I have to do this to be free. Jump with me, Susan. No! After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all... And you were absolutely sure you... You know, it doesn't matter. I just want... Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't... As a matter of fact, I saw... I'd like you to come with me and see her. Stop treating me like fine. I'll go. I don't even... The door is locked? I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. 
I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness... For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Doors. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. Does Susan like my girls? Whatever they are, tell them to... But they are here to guide Susan. They, are, they know which door she should enter to get her rewards. But there is one. There's always a problem. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Waste it. And Susan will never get it back. Susan okay. has one question. She must use it. Fine. I can do that. It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one always lies. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. Well, does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. That'll teach you to stop staring, you horrible... So poking her... You're just an ugly... dis... You're just an ugly... disgusting... The dollar liar?
swear to God. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't... I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. You're gonna pay for this, you...
I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Louder, I said. Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I your scream. Your body, an instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every- Your body will forever be admired by the- said anything then I'd be enjoying it. Well I mean I am enjoying it because I fucking killed his ass. To be honest. Hopefully. Poor girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. You will. He would have he would have killed me. Like the others. The animal. You gave him what he- Who are you? They call me the cat lady. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.